What's going on, guys? Welcome to our brand new Let's Play. Yes, after about a year and a half, maybe two years, and this is something I forgot to mention at the end of Half-Life 2. After so long, I have finally completed my very first Let's Play, and I can finally start a brand, well, not a it's not like I, because I've, I've been doing No One List forever, so I did already start a brand new Let's Play in addition to Half-Life, so this would technically be my third Let's Play, but uh, there's something I w uh, wanted to explain, because by the time this video is going to come out, it have it would have already happened, and as people don't generally read descriptions, I figured the best course of action would be to explain it in a video, so people can actually hear me explain it, rather than putting it in words where... words that no one will read, and then... you know, they'll complain about it. So... As of recording this, the last Half-Life video to go up was the second and final part of the Our Benefactor chapter. And the, and the last No One Lives Forever video to go up was the second part of Berlin by Night. So the next video, well the next video for Half-Life is going to be the Dark Energy chapter, which I am not sure if it's going to be split into two parts or not, because I haven't looked at the footage yet. But, the Half-Life video after that, and the No One Lives Forever video after that, as you'll see, are going to be short. And the reason that these videos are so short is because the week that I uploaded them, I was fairly busy, it was finals week, plus the weekend I was, I had plans for the weekend that prevented me from doing any sort of work on Let's Plays, so in, the, in order to not just skip a week and leave you guys videoless, I decided to do short bonus videos for both series, just to have something up. So, that is the reason why both series had such short videos. But, starting with this one, I will be uploading nothing but full-length videos, at least until July, the end of July, because things are going to ch change a little bit at that point, but I will get into that closer to when it's going to happen. There's no use talking about it now because that's still about two and a half months away. Anyway, that's it for my little spiel, so let's go ahead and get on with the game. Tell me, Dr. Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not.
see about that. Chapter 1, Undo Alarm. He has to be somewhere around here. Gravity gun. Give it to him, dog. <laughs> there, Gordon. Dog's happy to see you. I can tell. <laughs> okay, dog. Go get the monitor set up so we can check in with my dad. He must be worried sick about us. He was so sure I wouldn't find you here. The Citadel's really coming apart. I still don't know how we got out of there. The last thing I remember is... Rain falling, a huge explosion, and then I heard vorticons. Next thing I knew, Dog was digging me out of the rubble. Oh, it, it's all so strange. Oh. We should. It's my dad. We've been trying to reach him for hours. We only hear that we found you. Come on. Fred, come in. Alright, let's go see what Eli wants. And as you can see, whoa, don't want to get burned there. And look at this, the fire is actually moving in this game. Unlike Half-Life 2 where every single fire was stationary for some unknown reasons. Maybe it had something to do with the environmental settings of the game. I didn't exactly ch didn't exactly check them out per se so I don't know anyway uh, if you remember the end of half-life 2 seems that we did not get killed by the g-man I mean we got saved by the vortigaunts so uh, yeah a little, a little uh, bit of trivia. We don't actually know what happened to Breen either. It's he, it's never explicitly shown that he actually died. So he may have very well survived. We don't not we don't do not know that. At least not yet. Dad, Dad, are you there? Alex. Alex, come in! Hold on a sec, there's so much interference. Hey dog, give me a hand with this. Okay. Little to the right. There we go, hold it there. We got it. Dad. Alex, where are you? Oh, please, God, tell me you're out of the city. Well, not quite yet. What? But listen, Dad, we found him. You found Gordon? I don't believe it. But listen, you two have to get out of the city. The Citadel could blow at any moment. There's no question that it will, I'm afraid. Our remote sensors indicate the process is accelerating toward a dark energy flare. Is Anyone he? left in the vicinity will be subjected to energetic events whose Isaac, effects are please. beyond my powers of speculation. The ravages to cellular material are Reiner, stop! Dad? Oh dear, Eli, I'm sorry, but surely there's no need for undue alarm. Alex is well out of harm's way by now. Well, actually, we're still at the Citadel. What? Oh, dear. But there's really no time. The core is exceedingly close to collapse. Why, there's no way to get far enough without first... Well, nothing short of a direct intervention in the core could possibly retard the reaction. You mean going in? Into the core, yes. But it's far too dangerous to consider. The chamber will be bathed in radiation. Well, you do have the hazard suit. If we found a way into the Citadel, it's possible we Alex, could... Alex, no! But, Dad, 
Izzy, talk some sense into her! I'm sorry, Eli, but I don't see any other way. It would help us evacuate more citizens. We can do this, Dad. Okay, Alex, so, uh, okay. Okay, just promise me. Promise me that you won't take a single unnecessary risk. I promise. I love you. I love you too, baby. I'll be praying for you. Don't worry. I'll see you soon. Let's see if we can find a way into the Citadel from somewhere along the rim. Hmm. Dog, a little help, please? Thanks. Okay, boy, pack up and meet us on the far side of this ridge. Whoa, what a drop. After you, Gordon. Careful. Right, so, going into the core? Being bathed in radiation? Jumping into this ravine? No problem, because I'm Gordon Bloody Freeman. I can do anything. But, that will be next time. I think one video is enough for the introduction. All the events shall happen next time. So, hope you guys, well, hope you guys enjoy, I guess I should say more, hope you guys enjoy the story since there's nothing really but the introduction in this video all the action is to come, but, uh, if you enjoyed the first game, then you should enjoy this game as well. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.